are what seem to be two identical glasses of water. They both look, smell, and probably taste the same. However, that's not the case with their origin. Or is it? One of them actually came from a bottle of water, and the other came from my kitchen's faucet. Which one would you drink? Bottle of water? Nah, I think I'll stick with good old Callaway tap water. <sighs> Pretty good if you ask me. I'm sure most of you are thinking about all the disgusting and icky things I just drank with that one sip of water, but the truth is, I choose to filter my water, and so should you. A lot of people buy and drink bottled water because it is supposedly safer to drink, more convenient to carry, and you can save a couple of bucks if you buy a large case. When going to the grocery store, people make buying a case of bottled water a must on their grocery list. It's always nice being able to treat your kids, guests, and yourself to a nice cold bottle of water, especially on these hot summer days. According to the Natural Resource Defense Council, more than half of Americans drink bottled water, and about one-third of them consume it on a regular basis. The bottled water industry wants us to believe that drinking their water is safer and helps you save money, but in reality, all they do is just make a profit off of us with something that could be hundreds of times less expensive. Many health and environmental implications are associated with the consumption of this commodity. Hopefully by the end of the speech, you'll have a better understanding of how drinking bottled water not only affects our environment, but also how it immensely impacts you and your loved ones. Many people think that bottled water is a safer way to go, but you're in for a treat. The increase in the consumption of bottled water over the past decade has brought along with it several economical, health, and environmental issues. Consumers spend over $10 billion every year on bottled water in the United States alone. If you go to your local grocery store, I'm sure you'll find a pretty good deal on a case for probably $5 or less. Well, let's say you drink a bottle of water a day. That would be 30 bottles a month and 360 bottles a year. According to my calculations, no, I'm kidding, but actually I did crunch in the numbers, and if you do drink 360 bottles of water a year, and each case has 24 bottles in it, that means that you would be consuming 15 cases of bottled water a year. Now, at $5 each case, uh, at $5 each case, that means that you would be spending about $75 a year. It may not seem like much, but remember, this is if it were just you and you only drink one bottle a day. You're spending good money on something that you have already spent and paid for in a certain way. A third of all bottled water doesn't come from those beautiful springs, rivers, and mountains on their labels. Coca-Cola's Dasani and Pepsi's Aquafina actually simply filter their water and sell it to you for about 500 times its actual cost. These types of companies sell a gallon of their water to you for $3 at the grocery store, yet only pay about 2 cents for that very same gallon of water. If you don't believe me, why don't you just check your water bill and do the math? In my introduction to environmental sciences class, I learned that there are several health implications when it comes to drinking any substance, or in this case, water from a plastic container. Research throughout the years has shown that toxic chemicals in plastic bottles leach into the water within them. A chemical called bisphenol A, BPA for short, is present in water bottles as a lining on the inside of many of them. Studies show that this chemical may cause hormone disruption as well as resistance to insulin which leads to type 2 diabetes. Another chemical present in water bottles is polyethylene terephthalate. PET for short, which is the plastic itself. It is associated with problems with fetal growth and development, and these issues not only affect the baby and its mother, but can also affect future generations down the line. Companies that bottled water do not follow the same FDA regulations other products have to adhere to. The federal government does not mandate that bottled water be any safer than tap water itself. There are actually fewer regulations for bottled water than there are for tap water. 
Our planet can only handle so much, and we seem to always think about ourselves before we think about how our actions affect our environment. The Pacific Institute, a nonprofit organization in Oakland, California, states that in one of, in one of their studies that it takes about 1,100 to 2,000 times more energy to create a single bottle of water than it does to filter one glass of tap water. Making one kilogram of PET, which is a plastic used in water bottles, requires 17.5 kilograms of water. Also, think about all the oil that is used to create that plastic bottle, and not only that, think about the oil that is used to transport them around the world. Recycling is a great option to deal with the waste generated by the consumption of bottled water, but it is not always done. Plastic bottles are normally tossed in landfills to degrade, but this process can take thousands of years due to their chemical composition. When disposing of them in landfills is not an option, many countries opt to incinerate them, and that actually releases plastic, uh, actually toxic gases into our atmosphere from those plastic bottles. Let's move on to a more beneficial and positive subject about water and this could actually be the solution to the war on bottled water. Instead of buying and wasting your money on bottled water and making corporations wealthier and yourself sicker, look into other ways of obtaining clean water as well as disposing of these bottles if you do purchase them. Water filters are a great option as a purifier. You can find numerous types of them online or at your convenience store. Amazon sells a wide variety of under-the-sink or faucet-mounted water filters for as little as $15 for, or even more than $100. You have a pretty big range right there. And Walmart also sells the same kinds of water filters as well as filtered water pitchers, but just make sure if you buy one of those water pitchers that they are BPA-free. The best thing about water filters is that they last a long time. The replacement cartridges for them can be cheap in cost, that is, if you purchase the right water filter. Each filter lasts between three to four months depending on the water that's being filtered. Reduce, reuse, recycle is a phrase that will never get old. Sometimes we need the convenience of having water when we're on the go, but next time you're in that situation, think if it's something that you really need at that moment or if it's something that you can wait for when you get home. Buying yourself a thermos, BPA-free of course, or a mug can come in handy when you go to the gym, class, or work. These are containers that can be used again and again. Panama City has several places you can go to to turn in your plastic bottles, cans, and glass while you're at it. I'll post a link to the site uh, where you can find several locations to take them to in the description section below for those of you that are interested. Making small, seemingly insignificant choices can greatly impact our planet as we know it. At this point of my speech, I'm supposed to go over the pros and cons and maybe create some sort of emotional appeal regarding this topic, but I find it quite hard to find anything positive when it comes to consuming bottled water. The one pro I can mention is something that only benefits the large corporations and stockholders behind the bottled water industry. Nearly $100 billion are handed over to these crooks each year at a worldwide level. The United Nations states that if given one-sixth of that money, which is $15 billion, they could cut the total amount of people that don't have access to clean drinking water in half. The World Water Council informs us through its website that we currently are facing a water crisis, with one out of six people not having access to safe drinking water. Around 2.6 billion people have to deal with obtaining dirty, diseased, and unhealthy water, which is actually located miles from their home. This is actually National Geographic's a water edition, uh, and one billion people don't have access to clean drinking water at all. Dehydration is the most common cause of death for children under the age of five in developing countries. The absence of this essential resource claims more than 
2 million lives a year. A lot of information has been given to you today to process and to think about. With all this said, you now know what you can do to live a healthier, less wasteful, and eco-friendly life. Hundreds of dollars can be saved a year, and your health can improve by making the switch. If you are already drinking tap water, good for you, but make sure you have a water filter so you can take out all those sediments and chloride that's within it. Us Americans are rather privileged to have the water quality most developing countries don't have. Yet we choose to spend our money, waste our resources, and slowly make ourselves ill with this bottled luxury. I got myself a faucet mounted water filter and cartridges on Amazon for a little under $45 and this will actually last me more than a year. I ask you this now, what is protecting yourself, your family, and your planet worth to you.